A home router is a teeny tiny example of a router. An ISP or a data center might have a router that looks like a big chunky box with a lot of cables going into it. In general, a router is a device that connects two different IP networks. It acts as a gateway. Hosts on one network that want to send traffic to the other one forward that traffic through the router. While most hosts might have only one interface with an interesting IPv4 address on it, a router will have two or more. A host on a local network knows about a default gateway, which is a router that's connected toward the rest of the internet. Computers that are attached to the same switch or Wi-Fi access point or other network hardware are normally local to each other. They can directly send packets to one another without going through a different network. And as we saw before, they have IP addresses on the same net block. But here's Alice over here at 192.0.2.104. And here's Chandra over here at 198.51.100.17. Those aren't on the same local network. So if this host wants to send traffic over here, it has to pass through this router. That default gateway may also have a default gateway itself. But eventually, as you go toward the rest of the internet, you'll eventually reach the default list part, where routers on major transit ISPs know about the global routing table, the directory of all public IP networks. Routers up there don't have default gateways.